What's happening YouTube? Jeff Robbins here. Welcome back to the channel. So I've got my dyno behind me and that's because this year I'm going to be reconfiguring, rebuilding it. And I thought I'd take the opportunity and make a few videos along the way and show you guys how I do it. So I built this dyno in 2022. I've absolutely loved it. It's been great. It's a hydraulic brake dyno. And for the first two years I had it, all I did was run two, stro two strokes on it. And ever since I've r started running the Briggs 206s on here, it's just absolutely destroyed my welds. My welding's been terrible. I'm sure I've mentioned that. And my welds have just not held up. So it's definitely time to build a new one. So I've got a buddy that owns a, fa a fab shop and he's gonna weld me up a new frame, essentially exactly like what I have here. I'm gonna reconfigure a few things. So today this hydraulic pump is fixed. It doesn't move. And what I wanna do is actually get this set up to where it floats. And then that way I can install a load cell somewhere in this area, I'm thinking. And that way I'll be able to do horsepower and torque readings from the load cell as well as the pressure sensor down there. And um, should, should be a little more accurate with the load cell as well. So that's one thing that I want to reconfigure and add. I'm also going to put in an oil cooler with like a 12 volt fan on it to help keep the oil cool um, along with a oil uh, temperature sensor so I can keep track of the, the temperature and the oil as this thing's running. And then over here, this is where I've had more problems than anywhere. I've had to band-aid this engine mount set up more times than I can count. And this is just what's taken the biggest toll from the Briggs engines and the vibrations. So I'm thinking instead of doing this two rail system, like mounting it on a go-kart, I just may put in a flat plate and then put some holes in the plate so I can mount the engine directly to the plate. I think that might be a little more sustainable, sustainable over time and it won't uh, fail on me quite as much. So a couple things I wanna reconfigure. I've got the load cell ordered up. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get that wired into the Micron just yet. So we'll have to do that in one of the videos. But yeah, it's gonna be a, a, a project here getting this new dyno set up. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get the frame. So as soon as I get the frame is when we'll get started on getting this new dyno set up. Okay guys, so like I mentioned, it's gonna be a few weeks until I've got the frame, but once I've got that frame, we're gonna get going and get this dyno built. I've got about eight good weeks before our cart season starts and I'm hoping to have it done by then, but we'll see how that goes. But um, I'd like to have this done before engines start coming in the door. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Plan your race, race your plan, have a good time at the track. 